morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Hope you had a uh, relaxing break and a nice holiday uh, with your families. Um, figured get started uh, this week. We only meet three days. Uh, and just to get started to uh, give you guys a neurodink practice. Um, and this is kind of going back based on um, the feedback from the diagnostic that you took earlier in the year, and then also some things that I was seeing as well on your in your writing most recently. Um, so this uh, category is going to be on verbals, and there's a practice to sign today, as it says on the, uh, on Veracross. Uh, this will be due um, by this time tomorrow morning, and um, there are, I believe, uh, six categories. And um, like I said, we only meet three times this week. We don't meet uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, but then we will meet Thursday and Friday. So uh, Thursday, I'll be posting a review of the NeuroDink, um, and then Friday would be a timed NeuroDink quiz um, just like what you did with the uh, essay last uh, the week before break, uh, where it will be assigned based on the time that your class will meet, but it will be the quiz on NeuroDink that will be um, based on these different categories in the practice. So just like we've done in class, where you've uh, you know you've done the practice and then give you the quiz in class that you do on NeuroDink, that's exactly how it will be. Um, it will be, uh, except, you know, rather than have them divided up in the categories, it's all the different categories mixed. And, um, you know, you just go through and answer the exercises just like you did in the practice. So hopefully you don't have any issues with the practice. And um, if you do, hopefully uh, the review that I post on Thursday clears that up. And then you'd be ready to go for uh, the quiz on Friday. I just want to point this out again, uh, that uh, before you start... Uh, the different categories. Uh, read the lesson first, and the lesson will explain exactly what's being asked of you. Um, usually, that's going to be like in one slide, or yeah, these are repeated. So one slide, or maybe two. It depends um, on how many different examples there are. Um, but look at the lesson first before you start doing the practice, because then once you start doing the practice. Um, Once you start doing the practice, it's going to be the actual problems. So the more you're getting those wrong, uh, the more you're going to have to uh, complete. And so it's better just to look at the lesson first, 30 seconds, a minute, just kind of look it over, glance it over, see exactly what they're going for uh, before you start going and doing the exercises. Because once you do those, you will get backed up. Uh, you know, if you get them wrong, then the more you're going to have to get them uh, get right more correct answers you're going to have to get uh, in order to progress to the next lesson, okay? Uh, as always, if you have any issues, problems, uh, concerns, please reach out to me um, about them uh, through email or through Microsoft Teams. Also, um, I was going to give you time this week to do, or one day this week to do the um, 20 time, uh, but since we only meet three days next week, uh, I'll save that for when we would meet um, next Monday. So um, put that off just a little bit. Um, so this week is pretty much focusing on the Nerd Inc. over the course of those three days. And then I'll also be posting more information about uh, reading schedule as far as for our, our last book, which is going to be Slaughterhouse 5. So, okay, great. Let me know. Like I said, if you have any questions or problems, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.